What's up guys, Kids or Kicks here and welcome back to another episode of this My Player Career Mode. Things are going pretty well lately. You saw in the last episode we hit some decent form both personally and as a team we're not playing too bad as well. We are going to begin this episode with an FA Cup tie. You can see the draw handed us a game at home against Stevenage so it's not going to be easy but FA Cup it needs no introduction. Hopefully we can go on a little bit of a cup run, that'll be exciting um, and hopefully progress as far as we can but we need to get off to a positive start then as you can see just a couple of minutes into the game here Joyce we're, we're creating a bit of space in the box we get the ball back we look lively smash the ball across the face of goal but the ball is cleared no one putting their body on the line but Stephen East had chances of their own in the first half they're working the ball around really really well here um, ball comes into the box there's big Kelvin Zola and the volley from Lee um, was not far away at all just after the half hour mark then we move here um, Portsmouth working the ball around, Kelvin Zola involved again, um, he finds his man on the left, it's Welpdale I think, and he hits the shot, Warner doesn't react and the ball goes inside, beaten at the near post, Stevenage take a one goal lead, 33 minutes in to this cup turn, I'm really disappointed, it's Tony Warner in goal, he's come in because Davies has been in bad form, but he really should be reacting better with efforts like that, but we look to get ourselves back on level terms, of course, we're running directly at the Stevenage defence here. It's just us and Maguire, as usual, up front in attack. We hit an effort from distance, around about 30 yards away. Um, it goes a couple of inches over the top, so not ideal. But we move into the second half, still trailing by one goal to nil. Um, and Stevenage have a bright start to the second half, I must say. They work the ball around really well here. Lee puts the ball in. It's met by the head of Calvin Zola after some poor defending. And Stevenage double their advantage, so surely now you would think... This is all too much to come back with less than 45 minutes remaining that we are heading out of the FA Cup at the first round, which would be hugely, hugely disappointing indeed. But we're not going to give up. We keep trying. We've worked some space on the edge of the box here. We drive directly at them. We try and work a bit of space for the shot, but they defend really well and they get the tackle in and um, come away with the ball. But we, we continue to press. Um, as you can see, we're, we're storming forward. We played very directly in this game. We decided the best thing to do would be just to run at them uh, and eventually they resorted to just bringing us down, pulling the shirt. We make a run into the box to try and get on the end of this free kick. The ball heads in our direction, but it's cleared away with ease and the chance has gone. But just 15 minutes to go now for us to score two if we're going to keep our dreams of a cup run alive. We work it down the right-hand channel. We cut the ball back looking for an assist. It's Keneally who has the effort, but unfortunately it was a poor one and he couldn't find the target. And that, unfortunately for us, happened to be the last chance of the game so we have crashed out of the FA Cup we didn't have a fantastic game but we uh, we got a rating of 6.5 you can see our passing was on point with 100% pass completion but um, that's not the result we wanted that's not what we were looking for we're far more about the success of the team um, obviously personal success is important as well but it would be nice for the team to uh, to have had a cup run but it wasn't to be we are still selected the next game is at home to Portsmouth they need no introduction probably the biggest club down in League 2 uh, we're going to be taking them on at home here looking to get back to, uh, to winning ways in the league um, we have a fairly positive start you can see just under a quarter of an hour gone we get down the right hand channel cut inside um, onto our weaker left foot surprisingly but we still have the power in our left foot to smash the ball into the top corner and give ourselves a 1-0 lead so nice to get on the score sheet in front of our home fans against a club like Portsmouth as well one of the like I said before the biggest clubs but I'm really pleased with that finish on our weak foot no chance for the keeper with the power and the accuracy and that is our fifth league goal of the season but Portsmouth looked to get back on level terms almost immediately the free kick comes in um, we've only been in front around about a minute we don't deal with it very well the ball is uh, dropping around the penalty area and it's Taylor who hits an effort on the turn forces Warner into a fantastic save but set pieces were the real issue for us they have another one deep they smack it into the area the ball's not dealt with the defender takes a touch and you can't be dallying on the ball there in this time Taylor nips in wins possession and fires the ball into the bottom corner to get his side level so defending set pieces is obviously something that we need to work on it was uh, twice they've threatened now but this defending here was awful it was headed inside first and foremost but why we didn't just put our foot through that and whack the ball clear I don't know um, and we were punished it's a decent finish take nothing away from Taylor but very disappointing from our point of view but we uh, we looked promising we didn't let that bother us we continued to attack obviously we made some space there the ball does end up in the back of the net but the flag was up for offside we slightly mistimed the run but we come forward again 
into the area. It's a good tackle that comes in on us from Chorley, but we get the ball on the edge. We're looking for space for a finesse shot here. Um, we eventually do get the shot away, but it is blocked. Ball deflecting out for an Accrington corner. Five minutes before half time. Now would be as good a time as any to take the lead. The ball keeper comes out. The ball is beaten or headed towards goal, I should say, but it does go wide of the mark. And uh, we go in at half time, one nil. No, we go in at half time, one goal apiece. Um, and the second half, you can see we continue to play positively, driving at the centre of that defence. We thought we'd won a penalty there, but the ball, uh, the challenge was made just outside the box, as you can see from the replay here. One more step, and we would have had a penalty, but um, I'm not sure we want a penalty actually after the one we took against Morecambe. But anyway, we take the free kick, bend it over the wall, which doesn't jump, and it goes about half an inch wide of the mark. Possibly the best free kick we've taken so far, despite not hitting the target. Some of our other efforts have been horrendous. But um, what can you do about it? It's nice to see they've given us the faith to keep taking those free kicks. But Portsmouth, 20 minutes from time, started to put us under a little bit of pressure, working the ball around really well with some nice short passing stuff here. They eventually work the ball out wide. Um, the ball finds down. He pops the ball into the back stick. And Taylor, that man, again, takes advantage of some sloppy defending. He is a big aerial threat. Gets his head to the ball and it goes straight into the top corner. No chance really for Warner. But the fact that he managed to just peel away at the back post unmarked was extremely disappointing from a defensive point of view. And now you can see we're into stoppage time. Um, we've got barely, uh, well, it's five added minutes to find an equalising goal. Chance for Keneally, but he wastes it. The shot goes high and wide. Are we going to get one more chance? We've dropped really deep in order to pick up possession, hoping that the referee will not blow his final whistle. Here's McCartan. He finds us with the ball again. It's a decent turn to make a little bit of space. We get into the box. The challenge comes in. Nowhere near the ball. We are brought down and the referee points to the spot. Now, I said earlier, we're not sure whether we wanted a penalty. When you're 2-1 down in stoppage time, you are definitely, definitely hoping that the referee will make that decision for you. And he's given us the chance to rescue a point for our side here. We missed the last crucial penalty we took in the Derby game against Morecambe. Obviously, similar time in the game. Probably going to be the last kick. So we steady ourselves. The goal looks big. The keeper doesn't look massive. And this time we decide to go for power and just thump the ball into the top corner. Penalties plus one, as you can see, scoring our first goal from the spot. But really pleased that we are going to escape from this match with a point after being behind for, for the last 20 minutes. And really not creating anything until the last minute of the game. But Portsmouth, they're going to have time to kick off, but that is all they're going to have time to do. The referee does blow and end this game. Full-time whistle goes, Accrington Stanley 2, Portsmouth 2. Very eventful game, I must say. And we have still got to play Portsmouth again, so I look forward to that one. But two goals for us, two goals for Ryan Taylor, two goals apiece for each side. So, very eventful game. We've got a match rating of 7.6. It is one of the better games we've played in our career so far. Really, really pleasing from a personal point of view to get two goals in that one. But one final game then before we end the episode. We're going to be taking a trip to Newport County, where we're leading the line. Of course, again, I don't even need to tell you we're playing a 4-4-1-1 formation because we are. We play it every single week. It is beginning to frustrate us, but while we're scoring goals, it doesn't really matter and it's the furthest thing from our mind. We'll just continue to play the way we have done and hopefully the goals will continue to flow. But the first half here, we very nearly get off to a dream start. You can see we pick up the ball 50 seconds in, have the chop from distance, which deflects over the crossbar. It doesn't really threaten, but it does show that Newport are a little bit careless in possession and chances may come our way you can see we were going to get a chance there the free kick was going straight into our path but unfortunately a teammate of ours decides he's going to try and head the ball and takes it away from us surely that would have dropped into our path six yards out from goal you would bank us to to put us ahead there but it wasn't to be first half wasn't the most eventful um, but Newport did manage to take control of things as the, the half went on you can see they're playing really well putting some balls into the box that we're not dealing with they're creating space but fortunately the finishing wasn't up to scratch but we move into the second half and we look to take the lead here look to get an assist we tee it up for Maguire his left foot shot was heading straight for the top corner but a fantastic save from the keeper denies us the lead and an assist um, as well which is something we need to improve upon we haven't got many I think we've got just the one so far this season but this was probably one of the worst games of FIFA in terms of quality that I've ever been involved with no, no attacking player really created anything um, you can see we, we get down the right hand channel in a bit of space, we get past our man who drags us down, we get a free kick, we try to actually bend this one with a shot into the near post and catch the keeper out, but this happened, we are certainly not the next David Beckham and we're back to our usual horrendous um, free kick taking, but 
We managed to uh, to get another chance in the game. The defender misjudges the ball. It's us against five players, but we managed to create space for the shot. 12 minutes from time, we did the difficult bit in creating space, but the finish, which looked a simple one, we couldn't make, and we move into stoppage time. We've got a habit of scoring late goals lately. Could we continue to do that? We've made space. Right foot, shot is saved by the keeper, hoofed clear, and then the referee blows the final whistle. So a disappointing way to end the episode, but another pleasing performance. We did dominate the game. It's just unfortunate we couldn't find the breakthrough to get all three points. From a personal point of view, we got a rating of six. It wasn't our best game. We'll be first to admit that. But um, it's, it's nice not... In a game where you don't score, it's always nice to keep a clean sheet and then avoid defeat, which we've managed to do. So we're going to end this episode in the usual way. We're 13th in the table, so still punching well above our weight, 19 games in, 23 points. So we're, we're only a few points off the playoffs, but um, the main thing is we keep away from the lower end of that table. You can see Southend and Portsmouth, um, who we just had that epic encounter with, are kind of running away with it at the top. They've got a four-point lead over third place, Cheltenham. And then the rest of the league, it's tight from uh, from fourth place downwards. Not a lot of points between them. But um, we'll continue to work away, continue to, to keep finding form, picking up as many points as we can and as many goals as we can from a personal point of view. We are approaching January. Um, so again, I think we are going to try and force a move away. But that will bring this episode to a close for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you're new. And we will see you again next time.